Next we will make a ruffle with a heading. We want to start off by making a guide to represent the gathering lines that will go across the pattern. So you want to draw a rectangle that is 6 millimeters tall. And the width can be anything that's wider than your pattern will be. Okay. And now we're going to add a center line. And the center line is really going to come into effect more when we do the double ruffle, but we're going to go ahead and add it now anyway. So to cheat finding the center point, you can use the add point line, add point icon here, and right click, and then put 50%. And then just go up this icon and make a line. Drag it in real close. And then grab the other edge and drag it with shift. By holding shift, you can constrain it and make it and keep it straight. Okay, so that's our completed gathering line guide. It's going to move it a little more here. Okay. Now we're going to draw a ruffle pattern like we did for the plain ruffle plain rectangular box now you want to position this over your guide but you want to make sure with this type of ruffle that the top part is the shortest part of the ruffle. So you just put it anywhere like here. Just as long as it's, you know, once you get to here it's a double ruffle so just make it anywhere in here. So line it up. And by having this shorter it maintains the balance of the ruffle. If you had it up here, it would be unbalanced, especially on a sleeve or something like that. Even though it could look interesting on a collar. But anyway, back to the ruffle. Okay. Let's get our internal line drawn on here by just following this edge at the top and this edge at the bottom. I'm actually not going to get it in as close as possible right at this moment. Oops. Dragging the whole thing there. Now hold shift. You want to start dragging first and then hold shift. Otherwise it drags the whole line. And so now I'm going to copy this line, control C, and then I'm going to paste it, control B. And then I'm going to go back in and to make sure they're where they're supposed to be. And make 
take the endpoints really snug. Okay. So now we have our internal lines. And I'm actually going to just put these in, pull it out a bit. I want a little bit more of a heading than that. And I just selected these holding shift to select both of them and I used the arrow key to push them down. Alrighty. To make the matching lines on the sleeve, we're going to have to just put this guide next to the sleeve. Because what will happen is the sleeve was here first, so the guide is going to go on top of it. And that's not what we want to do. So we'll just have to put it to the side of it. Now I'm just moving it with the arrow keys to get it where I want it. I just want a tiny bit of an edge down here. You could go and use this edge if you want to, but I'm going to put it a little bit above the edge. And then we're going to do our internal lines, just like we did before. This time I'm going to actually, since they're not exactly the same width, I'm going to just make them separately. Just grab that point and then hit shift and drag out. Do the same with the other. Zoom in to get them a little bit closer. Okay. So I'm just going to get rid of the guide for now. You want to give these lines a 360 folding angle. And then you want to segment sew them together. And we're going to arrange them in the cloth window like we did with the plain ruffle. Make sure you have synchronize on there and we're going to offset it again make sure we sew up the edge here Make that 360. 
and then simulate. So let's get in a little closer here. Now if you want to get more detail, you want to raise the particle distance up to, let's say, 5. I'm ready to use a silk preset. Let's simulate it again. And this time you'll see that you get more of the detail in the gathering line there and obviously more detail with the ruffle as well. The last straight ruffle type is the double ruffle. The process for making it is similar to the ruffle with the heading. So we start in the exact same way. And we're just going to reuse the model or the pattern that we used in the last tutorial. But we want to add a center line or a center point to this edge so that we can line up our guide and everything else in the center of the ruffle. And we're going to do that the same way we did it in the last tutorial. And we're going to right click this edge and pick 50%. then we're going to pull it down, the pattern down, over the guide. And basically what we're trying to do is line up this point with this center line. Alright. And then we want to bring this line down to here and this line down to here. And as we move, we can hold shift to constrain it. Okay. Now we have our gathering lines. Let me just get rid of the guide. Now we want to rearrange the cuff that we simulated in the other tutorial. So we want to right click the pattern and pick rearrange selected patterns. This is a good way to arrange a single or group of patterns in their default position and you don't have to re-simulate the whole outfit. Now we're going to change this to cotton and the reason I'm going to do that is because silk, which we used before, is going to make this top part of the ruffle flop down. So we're going to use cotton instead. All right. And this is 20 particles distance right now. And then we're going to go ahead and simulate. let it settle a little bit and if you like what's going on you can change this to 5 particle distance and this will bring out once it simulates this will bring out the gathering stitches And now you've made a double ruffle.